get priorities right, you know. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> So, welcome to today's live solo. Yes, good morning. We'll have a peep round the corner. Yes. I'm Amanda. This is my glamorous assistant, Chloe. <laughs> yes, Amanda's doing her famous yes. apron today. My famous apron. So, we are coming live from Always Knitting and Sewing in Chorley. Welcome to people who uh, haven't, well, who haven't come across us before. Yes. The ones that do know what to expect, don't they? Absolutely. A little bit of frivolity. So we are going to make my reversible apron. Oh, how exciting. I know. It's exciting that I've got yeah. new ones to wear this <laughs> afternoon. <laughs> so just a quick, brief measurement. So if you wanted to make this, for reference, my measurements, obviously, you know, if everybody who does know us know I'm only little. Yeah. So as a guide, my measurement is from side to side here, my pattern un unfinished, I've cut out 19 inches by 13 inches for my back piece, you want two of those, and for my pocket piece, I've again, it's 19 inches by 10 inches, and we need two of those. So if you want, I've interfaced the back of mine, you don't have to if you don't want to, it's entirely up to you. You need at least one and a half meters of some bias binding to go around your pockets. Yeah. And then for your straps, it needs to be four inches wide and however long it needs to be to go around your waist. Whether you want to tie it at the back, you want to tie it at the front. Um, 70 inches is quite a, a nice length. Or if you want to say, if you want to tie it around the front, make it a bit longer. Yeah. But that's our rough measurement. Fab. So, so see we've got with us. We've got Stacey, morning. Morning. Um, we've got Josie, morning. Heather's watching. Oh, <laughs> So she don't get too busy downstairs and she can carry on the... Ooh, carry on watching chatting, us. Yes, yeah. and watching. Say hello if you're there. If you've never watched us before, we want to know. You know, we like to give you a shout Absolutely. out. Absolutely. <laughs> so... Are we ready we to go? Yeah, we are. Are we all ready? Ready to go. Right, yes. okay. So the first thing we need to do is attach our bias to our pocket. Oh, you need so I've got all pins on this year. What's going on? I'm your assistant. <laughs> Here, you have them. Oh, thanks. <laughs> and I'll have this, unless you want pink cushion. You no, you have pink cushion. Oh, I have pink it? cushion. Yeah, it's still sewing. How'd you get into this? That's the question. Oh, there we go. Other way up. Oh, I'll yeah. tip out. There we go. Here we go already, pins all over the shop. Right, so the first thing we need to do is put our bias on our pocket. So all we need to do is fold it in half and you're literally going to sandwich that in there. So if you fold this in half, find your middle, find your middle there, and then we'll start in the middle. I can do one and you can do one, can't there we? There we go, yeah. So right. there's your middle there. So there's your middle. So if we just undo it, and just pop that there, and we're literally going to sandwich that in between, in between like that, oh, fab. and pin. So you'll have a bit left over at the ends. Yeah. Just you know, just cause you need to. So off you pop, and I'll do this one. Is anyone? Is anyone actually today? following yes. along with us? Let us know. Let us know. And obviously you've got two to do. We will wait for you. Yes, don't we will. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas <laughs> we're speeding ahead. Let's see, is anybody? I think everyone's just watching. Oh, right. Oh, well, it's all right. That's okay. They're all, you know, too fascinating. You need to pin, pin, pin all the way across. Yeah, pin all the way across. Good pins then, aren't they? They are, these glass heads. They're nice, aren't they? I've never used them before. Well, you I know. Like them. You know yeah, like well, heads. I use the flower heads as well, but uh, I know I like them too. So we'd say we're just sandwiching that in the and and pin. These are your pocket pieces. Aren't these they? are our pocket pieces, yes. All the way to the end? Uh, well, yeah, you can yeah. do it. It's not, um, it's worth however many pins you feel that you need to be comfortable, really. Or clips. Or clips, yeah, you can use clips if you like, whichever you prefer. These pins are rather fab, though. They so are, I do are like they? them. I'm going to have to get some of right, these. Yeah, we might be having a buy this afternoon. <laughs> right. There we go. Oh, you put quite a few in those, don't oh. you? <laughs> Does that mean I need, I'll do my piece first? <laughs> you put a few more pins in. <laughs> so is that 
equal enough there because one bit's a bit longer than the other. Yeah, it doesn't matter right? because yeah. we're going to chop them off anyway. We right. just need yeah. a bit of excess, you know, a bit of overhang yeah. just in case. Okay. So now are we all are we oh, all there? Annabelle says, Annabelle says so along with you girls, don't go too fast. No, we won't go too fast, fast don't no. worry. If you want us to go back over and yeah, we can do. Yeah, that's fine. Any questions along the way, we can yes. uh, we can answer along the way too. Absolutely. Right. Uh, Heather says the glass head pins are much stronger and you can iron over them. Oh didn't know that. Okay. Thank you, Heather. Right. <laughs> well I'm not going to sew over them though. No. <laughs> so now I'm going to sew uh, um, my pocket to my bias binding so I don't want to do right near the edge just in case I've not caught the underside yeah so you know it doesn't have to be oh I'm going to just do that and blend bit in before it sneaks out already yeah it doesn't have to be precise you know surprise surprise there's my, my famous words it's like but we're just going to stitch in there I'm going to yeah. probably do however big that is Let's yeah have a see. get me dual out <laughs> yeah so maybe a quarter quarter, quarter inch, inch then you yeah. then you make sure you catch both the, sides yes okay, so i'm going to set off there with our lovely oh, new really machine nice. now this is yes. a nightmare i want one of these <laughs> it you needle. can't go back can you no, no. No. needle down <laughs> cut your thread <laughs> So oh, every can't sneak one of these in though, yeah, can I? Know I can't, no. Might be a bit difficult. Uh, yeah, I can, <laughs> I can. I hope Neil's not watching. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're not getting one. Oh, about? no, no. <laughs> right, so I'm just going along. I, look, I don't even have to look at that. When it stops <laughs> down, I don't even have to twiddle my dial when I take my pin out. So we're just going along there and fastening our bias to our pocket. No, it's so it's so quiet as well. It's it so, is. Nice. so nice, so really nice. This fabric is the fractal flowers as well. If you were uh, wondering what that yes. was, because uh, I was oh yes, I'm obviously going to be modelling this this afternoon. <laughs> so I needed to pick some fabric that is not one of my favourites. It looks like spirograph. If any of it the, does. the ladies and out I there do remember know what that, that is. do you? I do. I'm, I know something at least. <laughs> yeah, you still not still nobody believes me what a stepmother jag is from Tuesday's video, do no, they? No, no. <sighs> somebody will out there. Yeah, I think you will. Apart from your sister. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> somebody will have heard of one. It's a hang nail by by uh, other phrases, but I'm sure it, it will. It could be some Lancashire yeah, like Northern. Quiz. Yeah, well, there you go, yeah. you see. When it does, I know the answer. You'll know the answer. So I'm just going to go off the end. Make sure you backstitch at the beginning and the end as well, just to keep your things in place and nothing comes unravelled. Look at that, press clickety click. <laughs> so excited. No scissors needed. No scissors needed. So, so if you want to give that little press, my I lovely assistant, you can do. Absolutely. Oh, it looks really nice already. Love it's, this fabric. I know, it's so pretty, isn't it? Yeah. Proper nice. Oh, so nice. this is our first... That's piece. our first piece, yes. That's what it should look like now. Yes. So then go on to your second piece. I'm on piece. my second yes. piece now. So just backstitch a few times at the beginning and at the end, then nothing comes undone. <laughs> and off we go. Have we got any questions yet? Uh, not as of yet. You know, if anybody needs any help or anything. Yeah, if you just, we just want to chat, that's yeah, fine. by chat with us. Yeah. yeah. You know, we love a good chat. We love a good chat. <laughs> Hope everybody, everybody needs their iron on. Make yes, sure you've yeah, got your iron, iron on. Yeah. Hope you've all made a brew. <laughs> yeah. Is anybody get just watching priorities right? <laughs> yeah, get your priorities, yeah. It's a bit too early for a gin and tonic. <laughs> oh, it's proper nice. That goes with that red bias so well. Doesn't it's just so happen, well. you know. Well, <clears throat> and that blue as well. That's a linen texture, that one. It is. That. I know, well, you see, if, I, if, I'm, if I'm making one for me, I've got a <laughs> match. Got a match. Got a match. <laughs> some outfit. Oh, the good thing about this fabric, you can match it with anything. Yeah, you it's can. So many colours in it. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. I do like my reversible aprons. If you ever come in the shop, you'll you'll know that I have lots. 
It's like almost one for every day. <laughs> well, it is, yeah. <laughs> and a matching lanyard. Of course. <laughs> right, so back at the end. So a few stitches to back stitch there. Oh, just there we are. Oh, so fancy. Would you like to iron I'll that for that me? Thank you very much. much. Right, we we'll just uh, just oh, exactly. see if anybody just wait a bit. See catching up with us. Catching up. I love this iron. It's brilliant. We've got a makeshift ironing board. Yeah. <laughs> so there we are. We've got two pockets. Two pockets with our bias along the top. Yes. Right, are we all okay? okay? Are we all with us? Let us know. Can we move on? I've not, not had any comments, so... Let's move on. Let's move on. Okay, so the next bit is we are going to attach our pocket to our back. So, you want to grab one each. So, we're just going to pin them. Can I just shove that up there a bit? Yeah. Then we're going to pin this in place. So, because what we need to do now is baste this to here so it doesn't move. So, we're just going to pop it on there. Yeah. Line it all up. Mm -hmm. Josie says, um, ribbon embroidering while watching will make the apron loose. Oh, nice. Nice, yes. Nice. So you'll know what you're doing. Yes. So, I'm going to pin. So, I'm going to pin it quite a bit further in. Then I don't have to bother taking the pins out as I go along. Right. So... I'm going to start there because obviously that's where my, you know, the way you're going to sew. Yeah. That makes sense. Yes, you go, yeah, you're going yeah. round. Yeah. So I'm going to pin here and stick some pins in because this is, we're going to base this on. Now, if you wanted to hand tack it, so we're basically just tacking, basting, fancy word for tacking. Basting. Um, <laughs> we're going to tack this on so it doesn't move later. So I'm just going to twist that round. Yeah. Put them in there. I wish I had a wrist pin <laughs> Do you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm jealous. This is uh, one that Heather made on, you know, for um, oh, is it, uh, on the subscription side. Because oh, yeah. I've got one at home because she made one for me too. <laughs> I don't know what I did without it actually. And the fab. One. They're, they're really good. Yeah. But you to what you make sure you put them in sideways because if you put your pin in like that, you can stab, you stab yourself. yourself. <laughs> so make sure they go sideways when you put them in, <laughs> or else it's a little painful. There we go. Okay. Does it matter? Mine's hanging over a little bit there. Is that all right? Uh, no, because right. we can. Uh, it matches up. Is it match up? We can trim it. Yeah, it's all okay. done. Okay. So I'm going to stitch now. I'm going to go quite, um, probably again, a quarter of an inch. This doesn't need to be a little more precise because obviously when we stitch them together afterwards, we're going to use a half an inch seam allowance. So we want to make sure that we're inside our seam allowance yeah. because we're just tacking it. So say if you wanted to hand stitch it, you could do, yeah. but we are going from this end here. You don't have to go right from the top, but just make sure you catch your bias all the way around to, to, the to, to the other side yeah right. so if like this one it's obviously a little overhang if you wanted to stitch it on that side to make sure that you get oh, yes you, you can it, do yeah, do you, yeah. Want me to trim well, you could trim that yes got some we, we have got yeah they're over there, they're over there. Otherwise, <laughs> otherwise we've got them <laughs> oh, no. climb on the desk we'll get them big scissors <laughs> oh. see that's that's the joys of cutting out <laughs> isn't it Leave your scissors where you cut out. Okay, so I'm going to go with a quarter inch seam allowance. As long as it is within your big seam allowance afterwards, which we are going to do at... Let me just see, I'm going to get my specs on proper. Oh, Helen says, sitting in hospital car park watching, I've got ten minutes spare. Oh, <laughs> I don't think you can make a penny in ten minutes. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying it though. Yeah. What we uh, entertaining for you? Absolutely. So again, let's back stitch. Oh, actually, sorry. Before we start, we need to make our stitch length a lot longer because we're just tacking. So I've whacked mine up to five because we're just tacking this in. So again, back stitch, just a couple, and then off we go. So we're just tacking this to here, all the way around. Might just have to slow down a bit when you come to a corner. 
And yeah. if you go off the end, it really doesn't matter because we, this is just for tacking sake. Yeah. So as long as the majority of it is it's attached down, to it, yeah. if you miss a bit round the corner, it's not Stop. essential. No. Oh, oh thanks, Deb. Deb's just put some scissors in. Oh, I thought <laughs> she were bringing you brew. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Thanks, Deb. <laughs> oh, we've got good workmates. <laughs> Well, you, you, you know, steps, come yeah. on, you're talking to me, aren't you? Just back stitch at the end a little. <laughs> cut your thread. No, cut my thread. And it even tells me that I need to just do that again. So fancy. Could you take my pins out for me, please? Thank you so much. <laughs> right, so we're going on the back on this one, aren't we? I think then? I would, yeah. Right. Yeah, I'm trying to trim it up. Okay, never mind. It's fine. So we'll just do the same on the other side. So. Down. Heather, if you're watching, Chloe needs you to make her a pink cushion. <laughs> well, she is watching, I know. <laughs> next favouritism, you say. <laughs> favouritism, I got one. She might get me secrets. Oh, yeah, it depends like what you get for secrets, do not it? I know who it is if I uh, forget one of them. Yeah, you will, yeah. <laughs> so that's our... First piece, yeah. sawed down. So it's a nice, see. quick, easy make, actually. As with everything, cutting it out is the one that, the bit that it takes, takes the longest. longest. Yes, it does. I like to um, get mine cut out a few days before, so that just cut it out, yeah. and then when you want to sew it, it's You're ready, all aren't you? Yeah. yeah. Just cut a few out at a time. You could, absolutely. You know, I think Heather did that. She cut quite a few projects out at once, so then she can just... Sew away when she wants. Oh, hers is 10 minutes is better than normal. It's just love watching you girls. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Glad you're enjoying it. Oh, hers says I can squeeze it in somewhere. <laughs> Please. <laughs> okay, so we're back stitched again there. Just like, oh, it won't do it after. Oh, I think you up too fast. Yeah, to yeah, yeah. Like your up. So if you'd like to take my pins out there, thank we'll you. Stop. There you go. <laughs> right, and then we'll. Uh, Get rid of these and give everybody time to catch up. Yeah, see, I've, I've got my pinny on as well. I'm wearing my pinny <laughs> so I can cross my steps out as we've done them. <laughs> so we've done that, we've done that. There we go. So we've got two pieces with two Two pieces pockets. with our pockets tacked on. So we need to change your stitch length back down to whatever you saw at. I saw at 2.5. Because we're now back to it. sewing. Yeah, well, what do you sew at? I sew about four. What, normally sewing? Yeah. Do you? Yeah, do quite oh. a big stitch. Wow. Is that because you're pick a lot? Yeah. <laughs> it makes yeah, it easier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe learned. I should do that. <laughs> I'm the big queen of unpicking, mate. Right? You've got this, me. Don't go too small with no, your stitch. No, no. We'll give well, a generous yeah. seam allowance is yeah. always better as well. <laughs> <laughs> right, are we, uh, are we up to... Are we, is everybody following I think we're us? All, yeah, keeping up. Oh, Heather says I've cut five bags out so I can sew when the move takes me. Oh, I hope she didn't mean this morning. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's been up since four. Yeah, well, she has been embroidering this morning. Oh, but God. don't mention that because oh, that's a bit better. Oh, God. Right, okay, so next bit we are going to then. I like to have two pockets yes, because then I can yeah. carry bits and pieces around yeah. in, in my separate pockets. So we're going to fold it in half and then just mark your middle. So fold it in half. You can give it a crease. You can just put a bit of a press. bit oh, of a press. Oh, oh, yeah, then because oh, I can see where I'm going. So I'm just going to mark the front there. Mark the front on the top of my bias. 
just a little pencil. Yeah, Heather says, um, Heather says, I fell out with the embroidery machine this morning. Yeah. Oh, Annabelle says, bit behind. Oh, right, okay. okay. We'll we can wait. We can yes. wait. We'll wait. That's fine. I'll just, what did, where did you just, just on the top of my bias, just a little. Just a little. Yeah, and just on the bottom of my. Seeds, well, I can put a pin in. Well, you can do. Put a pin in for you. Oh, thanks. Just make sure <laughs> I'm going in a straight line. Come on. You never know. In case you've had a, a drink this morning. <laughs> this morning? Going in a straight line. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, there you are. You see, that's a better idea. I just put a bit of an if my pockets aren't quite equal, it don't really matter. There we go, right. Right, so that's, that's, that's yeah. Sorted. That pin's a bit wonky. Yeah, no, that's mind. fine. That's the general gist, yeah. Right, do you want to check where we're up to if everybody's uh, with yeah. us? How are we all doing? How are we doing, Annabelle? Are we, are we with us? Have we caught up? She won't be able to sew and type at the same time. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> you could do with voice activation, <laughs> couldn't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Right. Okay, so. Yes. We are going to just sew oh. down the middle. Oh, Annabelle says get in there. Oh, right, okay. Well, Helen right. says I'll catch up later. Oh, bye, Helen, are you going? Oh, is that, was that because, 10 minutes, Helen? Yeah, that's 10 minutes. Okay, 10, 10 minutes are on. <laughs> the buzzer's gone off. In fact, actually, I'm going to start at the bottom because sometimes you, you, your fabric can move a bit, can't it? Yes, it so, does move a bit. Yeah, it, yeah. yeah. So if you get move a bit, then you get a bit of a pucker going. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, I saw, when I did mine, I saw it from the top because if I did have a bit of, I had a bit of a hang, sort of a, Oh yeah, yeah. Go on, I, I will. Don't know. Yeah, I don't know. no, no, it's all right because then I just thought, cause it'll go in your seam. Because then. it'll go in your seam. Yeah. yeah, we'll we'll go back to where we were. See, that's why there's two of us. <laughs> right. Okay. So I'm gonna stitch straight line, following my squiffy pin to the bottom to make two pockets. So down we go. Just one straight line. One straight line down the middle. So again, back stitch to start off with. Couple of little stitches to keep it going, and then off we go. Down, straight down the middle. You could draw on if you wanted to get it accurate. You could, with a absolutely. Heat. A, a heat thingy pen um, or a, a erasable disappear as soon as you look at it. Or if you want to do even fancy, you could do a wiggle line. You could, you could do a wiggle line. You say, yeah, mine's gone a bit there, so oh, never mind. You can go in your seam allowance. I think yes, it does, see, doesn't it? That, yeah. So uh, yeah, could it happen to me that? Well, if you had but a walking just yeah, if you had a walking foot on, yeah, you know, then that'd make it better. But it doesn't. Matter. It doesn't matter. You're not going to see that. No. Right. So that's our first piece. So I'll just hold it up. We've got a line down the middle now. So we've got two. Separate pockets. Just need to press again. And then we go. Two separate pockets. Yeah. Can't wait to see all your pinnies. I know it's Can't so exciting. Who's gonna get those on first? Me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, all excited. And what fabrics you've chosen as well? Fabrics just make it. What are you gonna be wearing them for? I mean obviously I have mine on in the shop yeah. here that I can carry my my phone and my book and my pen and what have you around with me. But you then if bake. you wear it, you, you obviously you can bake in it, you could garden, garden with it. Yeah. If you are, you could, it's really good for actually, stop, you see now this piece hasn't done it, uh, oh. for actually sewing. Because if you're moving from your, your ironing board to your sewing yes. machine and what have you, and you Wherever you go, you've not got that scissor, have you? So no. you have to come back, because even if you have scissors on one, snips on the other, you always want the other one then. Yes. So you can easily just have them in your pocket. Yeah. Okay. So there we go. So we've now, I'm just going to snip that little, yeah, little bit off there. So are we all keeping up? You want to just snip your no. little top bit off there. Yeah. So now we've got our two pockets. On our two pieces. On our two Ooh. pieces. So we can now chop our 
big ends oh, off. No, I'm not going to go right to the... Oh, you know. Well, you're yeah, a bit, just, a little little bit. Bit. Yeah. just a little bit. Yeah. Just a little bit. Chop them off. There we go. Mm -hmm. Stick them in the bin. Are we all keeping up? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you see, it's gone a bit there as well, but that just shows it, it in seam allowance. <laughs> That's yeah, that's your seam. Yeah. So okay, so what do we do next? So now we're gonna put them on top of each other. And if you're lucky, your bias will be at the same height. <laughs> if you're not, well, never mind. It's you can't see them together, you so can, it doesn't yeah. matter. One's on the other side. Yeah, but if you are if you are lucky, then your two bias biases should match up there when yeah. you put them on top of each other. Don't worry if they're if they're not. I mean, you know, come on. It's an apron. Yeah. We don't have to be Precise. Too precise. <laughs> Don't worry about that. So we're going to pin all the way around. Do you want to just do that because yeah. you're on that side and you've got a bit more room than me? Right from the top, if right that's okay. Because we're going to okay. stitch oh, course, right yeah. from the top. Yeah. All the way around to the other side. Are they, are they level and all that? Top bits a little bit. Well, well, I only just plonked them on. You're meant to be putting it on proper. <laughs> do you know? I'm trying to get your bias in my Oh, well, know? I'm not fussed. I don't think it will at that no, side. No, and then we've that got a side will. Well, that side's better. Just that. stand from one side. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's got a best side, Of course they, they are, yes. Right. See, it just depends how accurate you were at cutting yes. it out, how much, you know, you when you put your pocket in your bias at the beginning, yes. did you get it right up to the middle crease? You know, all these little things just make a bit of a difference, but... We don't have to be, we're not making a couture apron. No, no. <laughs> like to think we are. I always knitting and sewing apron. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And Amanda always knitting yeah. and sewing apron. <laughs> oh dear me. Right, right, so there we go. So, so, we've, pinned them in. What? so we've got right sides together. Yeah. And we've pinned all the way from the top. Oh, ow. Oh. Said, all the way from the top, all the way around to the top there. So now we're going to sew. I'm going to use a half inch half seam inch, allowance. Right. As long as you're on this side of your tacking, yeah. then that's okay. Yeah. Because this is what we've got to not see. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. So as long as you're on this side. Yeah. This it, side, more towards the more towards the inside, towards of, the inside of your apron, yeah. then you won't be able to see this. Yeah. So I'm going to use a nice, generous half inch seam allowance. Okie dokie. So Ooh. I'm starting at the top again. Back stitch. Let me just see where I'm up to. Where are we? Yeah, yeah a nice and. I mean, you could just use your press the foot. Yeah, as long as you, you know, foot, as long yeah. as you press the foot is going along. going up you know yeah. if you're over here yeah. then that's okay so whatever you prefer whatever you prefer it doesn't matter as long as you're on the inside yeah. of that of that of your, <laughs> that ta your tacking <laughs> yes right okay so needle down and off we go so we're stitching from here all the way around yeah. to the top there nothing along with the top right okay. okay so again back stitch to set off and off we go. Oh, I so want one of these machines. <laughs> well, you know, Christmas is coming. Oh, on. I know. So, again, if you want, when you get over your bias, just to hold it in place a little more, a couple of little back stitches, because it depends how much um, junk yes. you're going to have in your pocket. Yes. So, you could just do an extra couple of little stitches over your bias just to hold it in place a bit more. So. Just going nice and slowly round the curve and say just stay on the inside of that line. Tacking stitch. And your tacking stitch, that's it. Are we all are we all doing all keeping up with us? Oh it's gonna look really nice when it's done. I hope we've got an outfit to match this. Well, I'm <laughs> quite psychedelic today, aren't I? My top oh, quite yeah. psychedelic, so it'll match my psychedelic apron. <laughs> Wonder if we'll have any customers in this afternoon wearing theirs. Oh, yes. 
Please yeah. do it yeah. local and you're Bring so delighted. Come yeah. and give us a model. We could have a little fashion show. Oh, yeah. Oh, Sounds I'm excited, excited doesn't yeah. it? Don't take much, does it? <laughs> <laughs> to get us a bit excited. <laughs> Bring some biscuits if you come in though, that'll be lovely. That'll make us even more excited. <laughs> we love a biscuit. We do. A brew and a biscuit in the afternoon. Or 11s is like I keep oh, catching you. Yeah, I know. It's not good, is it? No. <laughs> right, so I'm coming up here again on my um, buyer, so I'm just going to put a couple of extra stitches in just to hold yeah. them a bit tighter. Back stitch at the top, and there we go. <laughs> I think you just like pressing that. I one, do, don't I you? know. It's so fancy. <laughs> so you take That's your pins fancy. out. Now then, at this stage, if you want to, you can trim your seam allowance and clip your corners. It will just help you be not quite as bulky. So I think we have got a bit of excess. You, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna. To cut. I, I can do. It. I'm not no. gonna cut my tacking out no. because if, for instance, this bit did come undone, then you've still, still got, got that there. Extra so I'm just gonna trim a little bit down. Yeah. And and snip in my corners because it it helps it when you turn it through, and then it will give everybody a chance to catch up a bit again won't oh, it yeah Lucy just popped in that's just reminded me we have got a raffle running at the minute um for a tote bag to win a tote yes. bag one of heather's that she's made uh, it's pound a pound a ticket a pound a ticket yes um so you can buy your tickets and if you spend over 30 pounds you get a free ticket. A free ticket. So make sure you go ahead and check that out. Uh, it ends on the 31st of May. Which is very exciting, isn't it? It's a very yes, nice bag. It is a very nice bag, isn't it? The fabric that it's made out of, the, uh, is it Aurelius? Um, it yes, did, Robert did, didn't last two minutes, did oh, it? Oh, no. In fact, I was on holiday when it came in, and by the time I got back, <laughs> oh, I, went, I went even away a week. By the time I got back, it had gone. They're like, what with that? Oh, there's none left. Oh. <laughs> and you didn't save me none. Thanks. Of course <laughs> not. <laughs> yeah, it's very pretty, isn't so it? So make sure you get your raffle tickets. Very yes, pretty. only a pound. Right, so I'm right, just going to winner. snip in the corners there as well. All right, just, yeah. Just to help it just turn on the curve. Curve. Just on my curves. I'm not going to cut into my lines, obviously, yeah. my line of stitching, but it'll just help to turn it through. So this is a bit professional. Oh, yeah. This is what you would do if you were, if you were sewing... Oh, I'm going to use that. Yeah, yeah, I thought it might be easy. Um, if you were sewing a, a garment and you had um, round your sleeves and round your neck. Oh, yeah, always clip into you your clip curves. You clip your corners, clip yeah. your curves. Helps so much. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so at this point, again, if your top is a little squiff, I mean, how dare it, you could just straighten that off as well. It actually might. If you, had, if you were on your mat and with your rotary cutter, yes, so then you're better that. off with yeah. your rotary cutter, but yeah. never mind, we'll, we'll just go for it with scissors, because <laughs> otherwise we'll be crawling under the table to get, <laughs> to get to rotary cutter. So I'm just going to straighten that off. See, this is how much things move. Yes, I know. I know you've got to pin, you've got to base because your fabrics just go out of line. They, they, they shift an awful yeah. lot, don't they? So walking feet are are good. Really good, yeah. Really good. Definitely. So at this point we can turn it through. Da -da -da -da. Oh, exciting. No, it's very exciting. So let's turn it through. Just push your corners out a bit. I mean, you don't have to make round ones if you don't want no, to. You do a square. You one. can have a square, square it. corner. It doesn't matter. I just thought it looked nice. I, like I only drew round the plate. Yeah. No, very technical. <laughs> right. Shall I give it a press? Oh yeah. How fancy does that look? <laughs> oh, I can't wait to get this on. Right. There we are. So just press them out a bit more. Yeah. Get the corners in. Just give that a give that a little press. Press that. Oh, it looks nice. Oh, how exciting! I know it's very nice fabric, isn't it? Are we all keeping up? 
Or are we, are we going too fast? <laughs> She's excited. <laughs> I know, but it's not it's not a hard no. project either, well, is it? Well, she's done one. You know what you're doing and you can make yeah, rolls. Yeah, you can whip them. them up in no time, couldn't you? Absolutely. The other um, thing that the, I, I don't mean, I don't know whether they would be allowed to wear them, but if they were allowed to wear them, you know if you're a nursery nurse and you have oh. to have tissues and yes. wipes and all that sort of stuff, that might be... Um, that would be. Yeah, or even a, a school teacher in year one, you know, yeah. a little foundation where literally you have to have <laughs> tissues and everything yeah. when you, things go <laughs> a bit wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so you could... You know, that would yeah, be absolutely. quite a nice, yeah, be a, what do you call it, present? You know, um, teachers leaving present yes, thing. Yeah. When you when they move up to the next class and you all have to buy a teacher a present yeah. and they go home with 45 bottles of wine and, you know, 27 boxes of chocolate. Make them a nice, <laughs> Make them a nice apron. So there we are. So there we are, up to now. We've got two sides. Nearly done. Other. Yeah. Nearly done. Oh. So you've got lots of ironing to do now. Oh. So now we're on the strap. So we'll just move that out of the way. Side, yeah. I might even give you my wrist pin if oh, you know, there you go. Oh, thank You're you. Welcome. Wow. So we've now got our strap. Now, if you've made handbag straps before now, you'll know what to do. But so what are we going to do is we're going to fold it in half there. And give that a press. Yeah. We've and then we've, together, yeah, we've sold yeah. our pieces together. So I've got one huge. Bonk. I just use the, the length. Yeah and just well, made it massive, it, yeah. so I'll be tying this round the front. <laughs> tying both of us in it. I did chop a bit off this morning because it was humongous because I literally just used the full length of the, you know, what I had. Yeah, well, and yeah, tied right it together. Well. Yeah. So you, if you want, you could open those seams yeah, open out. If you seams. don't, you can just put them to one side. Yeah. It doesn't matter, whichever. But the general gist of the strap is like you're making a handbag strap. So we're going to fold it to the middle. Yeah. Give that a press. And then you're going to fold your insides to, to the middle. middle. Yeah. Give them a press and then fold it in half. Yeah. So again, we're, yeah. we're making a an apron sandwich. An apron sandwich. That's where we're going to oh, have an apron no. sandwich. Yeah. So we've got lots of iron in there. So if you want to fold it in half, first of all, yeah. and do the whole length of the half, I'll right. just pass it over to my glamorous well, assistant. I'll start at this end. I know, but it's a, it's a long bit to iron this it's bit. A long bit Get a bit yeah, I think you might be better off at the other end. Yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> Get your right end. <laughs> right, have we got any comments? Come look, can we chat while you're ironing? <laughs> a 70 odd inch piece of fabric yes. four times. <laughs> <laughs> Is anyone going to watch it? Me and Heather at 12 on Facebook. Oh, yes. Straight after this. Yeah. If you are, we want to see pictures of your aprons. Oh, yeah, that would be fab, yeah, wouldn't it? Imagine yes. the sun has got them on by 12 o'clock. I know. Oh, that's proper exciting. Oh, yeah. Want to see them? Absolutely. Right. Let's just put that up a bit more there. No pressure. No pressure. <laughs> Watch Chloe's lovely ironing. <laughs> I don't do an awful lot of it, really. No, I can't but... say I do either. I only no. iron when I'm um, sewing. sewing. I do. I don't iron out. No, I don't. For, I used to, when boys were at school, I used to buy them Marks and Spencer's non iron shirts. <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't make have to nice do it. Make it nice and easy. You didn't have to do that. They came out of the machine, <laughs> not creased at all. That's brilliant. <laughs> oh, I'm sure other, other shops also sell non iron shirts. Oh, yes. But yeah, non iron uniform, that's the best. Right, so we're in Folded half in half. half. Yeah. So then we're going to undo it again. Open it out, aren't we? Yeah. And then fold our edge to your to the middle where you've just ironed. Yeah. On both sides. So right. you can do one side at once, or you can do both sides at the same time. Depends yeah. how confident you feel with your iron. And it, it doesn't have to be again perfect. perfect. You know, of course it yeah. doesn't. Right. But don't make a mess. I'll try not to. <laughs> <laughs> I've done quite a lot of these. Yeah, if you use if you used to bag straps, yes. then uh, you know what you're doing. Oh, Lynn's with us. Oh, Hello, lovely! Ladies. You look both look very beautiful. Thank you. Liz. Oh, thank Darling. you. Oh. Right. How's the bunting making going, Lynn? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I bet she's not got time to be watching us really. No, no. She's got lots of sewing to do herself. Oh, Heather says there's one bundle left on the shelf. 
Amanda. Oh, what? Of the fractal flowers? Oh, wow. Well, I'm sure I could uh, conjure some more up. I'll have a look when we go down. Yeah. It is very nice. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Beautiful. Very nice. So you, nice. depending on how big you needed your pieces, you could potentially get it out of back quarters. Yes, you could. Because they are normally 18 by 22. So you, you could just use that you know the 22 bit this way don't yeah. bother having to cut it down a bit you just have an apron that goes a bit further around your waist you know why why chop a bit off when you don't need to well exactly so you just need to chop a bit off for your length but obviously again if you're taller than yeah. me which is you know <laughs> most people <laughs> then you could you could have a you know you can have it as long as you want you could literally just use the fat, two fat quarters for your back pieces and not have to cut anything if you didn't want to. Yeah. And have a, a wider and a longer apron. Mm -hmm. Right, I'm at the end. You're now. at the end there, lovely. So we've done the two sides in together. And then we're going to fold it in half. One more time. One more time cool. and then we're ready to go. So we're folding it in half there. Yeah. Now you see, now I find this bit, this bit always moves. You know, you never yeah. get a... You never get a no, you don't. Perfect, no, crisp together. edge. No. I mean, it doesn't matter now because obviously they're going on be. either side. Yeah. But when you're making a bag strap, I, I always end up with a bit that's a bit... Over the, yeah. Yes, overhanging. Yes. If anybody's got any top tips on that yes. one, let us know. Let us know, please. Um, oh, Lucy's put... Um, what's the sewing machine we're using? Oh, this beautifulness. <laughs> this beautiful sewing machine. We got it from our um, shop in Blackburn in Lancashire called Hobkirks. And it is yeah, a, a Janome not. Memory Craft 6500. Yeah. It's very nice. It is so nice. It is really, really yes so so lovely it's lovely. it's it's yeah don't <laughs> i've got to go home to my i mean my sewing machine is nice it's got a digital display yeah but i haven't got a needle down which is the best thing ever you think but it is it's oh amazing. it's so much easier down. because when you stop yeah. and you have to stop quite often to take pins out yeah you have to put you have to wind and it's such a chore isn't it having oh, to wind oh. your needle down it is. But it's so much easier if it just stops with it down. And again, the bobbin is here, so you can see exactly how much thread you've got on your bobbin because there's nothing worse than you, you're <laughs> off your pop and you've stitched about this bit much and then you get to the end and it's not stitched because you, your bobbin thread's run out because mine's underneath, down down there. Yours. No, no, it's, it's down at the oh front. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I didn't know they made machines like that. It's not that old and it's not that... <laughs> rubbish i know it's you know it's electrical it's yeah. not i don't have to wind it up or pedal it or anything <laughs> but it's certainly not as nice as this there we go we've had uh, julie good morning ladies how lovely to see you both live great views of your sewing it is far too best oh, wishes from julie it's good Sally dover thank you very much thank you yes well, it's gone a bit dull here actually yeah, it's now aren't dull, it? it's a bit yeah. dull in chorley today yeah. still warm yes yeah, Quite warm. Yeah, it is here, quite yes. warm. It's a bit <laughs> warm in here as well, but we're not allowed to window open because it'll be too noisy. But <sighs> right. So at this point, we need to just fold this in half to find our middle. Yeah. Middles for diddles, as we <laughs> would say. So you just want your middle there. Just stick a pin in. So oh, I've got me. They've gone. Haven't they? You've got. Them. Sorry. Yeah. No, you're, 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 you're all right because you you can do this bit. So you just want your middle of your waist strap yeah and the middle of i'll shove that up there a bit the middle of your apron there yeah and then we are going to attach this to this so again we're making another sandwich right so if you find where's my middle gone your middle's middle's there <laughs> all right that's it's massive and take so I know that's gone. It's, it, it, again. It's going it, round three times, that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be you? tripping over it. <laughs> so, if you can just, you can take those out now, that's okay. But what we want to do is just open this up and like we did with our bias binding, make an apron sandwich. So you're putting the top of your apron to the centre of your strap. Yeah. I can't think what the word was then. <laughs> and we're going to pin it. 
So make sure you've got all your apron in the top, in the centre there, and come down there. So I put quite a few pins in here. And again, if you put them higher up, then you don't have to take yes. them out, hopefully, yeah. whilst you're going along. But make sure that you've definitely got these right. Do you right. want me no, that? no, you're all right. Because you can do that end, and I'll do, I'll do this end. So pin the bit that's on your apron first of all. Yeah. And then are we pinning? We're, we're not going to go quite to the end no. just at the moment because we need to fold the ends back because obviously we don't want to raw edge here. Yes, of course. Yeah. So for your ends. How I would do it is if I was doing a waistband on a skirt. Yeah. I would turn it back that way. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, so you've... you've so you've so my, right, my sides. right sides are together and my two raw edges and my fold is here. Yeah. I'm just going to pin that there. Just have to do this in the centre. So we're folding it back, yeah. Like that. Yeah, so my my fold is here, my, my two row my two right sides are together there. Uh, so on the top here I've got a raw edge, the inside of my fold and another raw edge. Yeah, like that. Yeah, and I'm just gonna stitch down there. So just whatever you want to down there. I've got to cut all these little threads off. So we're just gonna stitch down there to, right. to okay. that's how I would do a waistband. Wow, is it really? Yeah. We've well, never done a waistband. So oh well, there you go. I just turn my edge in. And just, but and, and, and just what? Everyone does it so across. I that's the way I do it. But yours is much better. I fold my edge down. Oh and right. Just fold it in half. I've never done a waistband though, so okay. Didn't know that way. Right. Well, so that's how we're gonna. That's how I would do. Uh, that's what? how I would do it. Yeah. So I folded it in like that. I'm just gonna literally sew a smidge down there. So it doesn't have to be seam allowance, whatever. You press the foot, it doesn't matter because we're going to trim it as well. Yeah. So I'm just going to stitch a line down here. So again, back stitch, put my needle down. Uh, back stitch at the beginning. Heather says, just had an encounter with our pet spider. Oh no! <laughs> Trev Trevor We've the left tarantula. Her. We've left her with Trevor. <laughs> back stitch at the back. Yeah. So now I can, I'm going to just snip that off so I've not got a very big seam allowance. Yeah. Just really carefully snip your corners. Oh. So then when you fold it back. Clever. Can I? That's my new way of doing it. Do you know? It. I do know what clever. I'm doing. No, yeah. <laughs> that makes it really neat. So, Especially for me. Like that. And we're going to, if you turn it through, you've got a nice... And, oh, nice and here you are. Use the porky coat. Oh, there we go. Get them corners out. That's it. So again, on this one, I'm just going to... Wow. Oh, to do that. So That's I'm just going to stitch down. So a back stitch at the beginning. Back stitch at the end. <laughs> so I'm going to just trim that seam allowance, snip the little corners. I tell you made a few skirts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Snip that there, snip them off. And then when you turn it back, you've got a lovely, neat. That's amazing. That's, neat bit. that's brilliant. There you go. That's a good tip right there. There we are. Just pull that out. There we go, so we've got two ends, nice and neat. Nice and neat. So then we need to pin now the whole length <laughs> of, your, of your waistband. <laughs> so you start at that end, right. I'll start at this end. Heather says, leave a gap down the centre where you fold the sides in. Is that for our, to make our things um, 
the same? Is that what she's meaning? Was that quite? I'll be back to that question. Not quite sure. Leave a gap down the centre where. Yeah, I bet it will be. It will fold better as the raw edge. Don't touch. There you go. Oh right, right. So that's that's top tip to make these two exactly edges. the yes. same. Yes. Right. Okay. Leave a gap. Um, yeah, so instead of yeah. fold, yeah, because we have got a bit of a gap. Instead of fold, so she says she means instead of folding them so they touch, yeah, make sure you've got a bit of a gap, right. so that they don't so they touch don't, yeah. and then it folds nicer. Ah. Right, okay, we shall try that. Thank you, Heather. Because I've I've got a you know like we said on Tuesday, don't mention the word bag. <laughs> um, but I have got an I'm unpicking at the moment, and this is the last time. This is it. The last time. The last. I've said that last time, but this yeah. is the last time. So you could clip these if you wanted. Yeah. It's entirely up to you. I do like pins. You clips have like their both. place. They yeah. have their place, don't they? These pins are amazing, though. <laughs> I like these and some of these. Yeah, so. I know. I've, I've, I've got the flower heads. They, they are I nice, don't like aren't the they? Heads, they are good. They're they are, they are nice and sharp. There's nothing matter with the flower heads, but then again, it's just you pick something different up, don't you? And yeah. Then we want that. Well, that's it, you try something different. Yeah. We're, we're, ju we're just as bad as you lot. <laughs> oh, I need this, I need that, oh, I need yeah. the other. We spend all our wage here. <laughs> that's what we don't do so bad, do we? Were you done? Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't know if you put more in. Maybe. <laughs> it's gonna snip them little bits off there. there we are we all? Are we all keeping up? Yes. Are we all there? We're nearly there, aren't right. we? We are. This is it. We're nearly done. You'll have time for a sit down before material yeah, girls. I can have a, Normally, a it's, it's five seconds yeah. panic rush, <laughs> isn't it? It's tidy up, bring all things upstairs. <laughs> right, so what we're going to do now is sew down here. Again, don't go too near the edge because you want to make sure that you catch both sides and especially when you're on your apron. Yes. So, oh, let's have a see. Yeah, quarter, I mean, a quarter inch. Actually, sometimes a quarter inch, you think, oh my God, that's such a smidge. Yeah. But actually, when you look at it like that, quarter it's inch is, is there. That's quite a, a decent... Yeah, Pen. I always saw things at quarter inch. Yeah, well, I don't, you see, I tend to do half. bigger. I do, I like yeah. a half or, yeah, or three eighths. And it's yeah. just, because, mm. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you never know when you need, when you need to unpick something. <laughs> and it can be a bit, yeah, exactly. sometimes can be a bit violent yeah. when, you, when you're unpicking, unpick and rip. <laughs> right, let me get me a uh, bit there. So I'm going to start at one end. I'm not going to go down that side. You don't need to. No. I'm just going to start. Wait, yeah, you start there. Start down. Wait. And but you could again. You could use the edge of your presser foot. You know, if you wanted a guide that way, that's fine. I think I will actually. I'm going to put my edge of my presser foot on the edge of my strap. Yeah. And off we pop. Right. Could I have a, a sorry finger? Then I can. It, then I can, can slide in. Thank you very much. <laughs> Share the wrist pin. It. Yeah, that's it. And off yeah, we go. So again, one. needle down, da, da, da. <laughs> back stitch at the beginning and the end, and we're nearly done. Oh, how excited. Oh, hang on, wait a oh. second. Hang on. Is it chewing it all? I think it's having a bit of a munch there. Let's just start again. Take it back out and start again. That's better. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes you've got to start that yeah, little bit in. You do, don't you? Yeah. So it wants it clicking again. Right, there we go. Or else it does just chew it off. I hate it. Yeah, I think a so pin were in way, I think. <laughs> right, there we go. Yeah. Off we go. Let me fold down a bit there as well. See, if you put your pins in a bit further along, you can sometimes take them out as you go along. Make sure you have the head facing you as yes, well. Yes, head so facing you. Some people put them in sideways. sideways I've yes. never got the grips of sideways. It's so over it if it's sideways. Well, I, I, yeah, but I wouldn't because you just you don't want to risk no. breaking your needle if you don't. I sewed all them on them flower head pins before. <laughs> I, I stitched over the flower of a yeah, flower head I, pin. I, <laughs> I had to unpick it. I couldn't get the edge I off I mean, it. how impressive that your needle went through that plastic. Yeah, I know. Without breaking. Yeah. But yeah, I've done the same. 
know. Over the middle of the stop says that all. Is it? Is it? You've not seen that you've gone over the middle of the flower. I know. I've now got a pin that's got two holes in it. A couple of holes in Everybody needs to make themselves one of Heather's wrist pinnies. Oh, definitely. So what else is uh, really good, which we've had, um, the magnetic uh, pin holders. Yes. So if you've got them all on your table, you just turn it over and just You mean if you're a bit messy like you? Yeah, just a tad, you know. But yeah, you just hover over it and it picks them all up. You don't have to take... One by one, putting them in. It's brilliant. Oh, so you could just chuck them on your table yeah, and then just chuck them up with your mouth. Yeah, it's like a big, a big. Yeah, bowl. Like yeah, big bowl. I can have a look for yeah, them. Next time we order, I can get a couple of them. Oh, yeah, definitely. For all you messy people. If you can't be bothered, you know, <laughs> sticking each pin in. <laughs> I'm sure I'm not alone in that. No, I'm sure you're not. I'm just going to stop there because that's going a bit swift. Oh, going a bit yeah, because it's move. It just moves. They do just move. Yeah. Uh, when I get to my actual apron, I'm going to do a couple of stitches backwards and forwards there yes. as well, just a bit of extra join, because that's where it um, could give way, depending Tying on. Tying it all the time. Yeah, and yeah. depending on how much stuff you put in. Yes. Yeah. Keep so I'm just going to backwards and forwards once I get on my apron. If you find you need to, you could always use the little bulky seam aid as well. If you yeah. find you need to, if it's a bit chunky. Just sort of help you. Just help you get on. Yeah. Oh, we've got a bit of a spurt on now. <laughs> and, and this is a debate then. Do you sew with your shoes on or off? I've got to sew with my shoe off or else I can't. I don't can't that. feel pedal. Can't feel pedal through your shoes. But it's just like driving though. You drive with your shoes on. Well, yeah, I know, but... I, I, I mean, I could do both. It doesn't bother me too much. Like, yeah, I can sew, I can sew with a shoe on, I can sew without my oh, shoe no, on. Oh, no, I've got to take my shoes off. Slippers, anything. Oh, no. Not bothered. It feels weird when I've not got the shoe on. Yeah, oh no, I couldn't do it with my shoes on. Got to have my shoes on. Strange, isn't it? I have got funky socks. Well, <laughs> purple socks on. They're not funky, but they're purple. I'm just going to... I've got a bit of a crease there. That's all right. Sometimes you do just have to stop and adjust a bit, don't you? Oh yeah, definitely, yeah. Like I say, it all moves. Right, so I'm coming on the end here again, so I'm just going to couple little back stitches, just a bit of extra security. Yeah. And we're nearly done. Oh, how exciting. Can't wait to see it. Oh, Heather says I much prefer pins. Yeah. Yeah. Depends, doesn't it? Yeah. It depends what you're using. If Obviously, if you're using... Um, the plastic or leather or something like that, then you definitely need clips, don't you? Yes. I, I tend to use clips when I'm making a bag and you've got it all on the inside. Yes, and you've got your clips it, around yes, the top. Clip it all. Yeah. I use pins at my seams. When I have to match two seams up, I'll use oh, a yeah. pin there. Yeah, you can't risk things like that moving, no. can you? You want them to, to look. Yeah. To look good. There we go. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. <laughs> da -da -da. Have you enjoyed your first summer? I have, yeah. What's <laughs> what we like? Getting excited about making an apron. Oh, it's, it's exciting. very exciting, it's isn't it? It's fabric. I hope everybody's kept up and, we, and, and, and has understood what we're going on about. But yes. It's, it's, it's a nice, a very nice, easy project. And obviously, yeah. once you've made one, you'll have a, a drawer full. Like, yeah. like, I have a box full and I have matching lanyards. Do you uh, top stitch? I don't actually. You can do. Yeah, I just if you thinking, want to be a bit yeah, fancy. I top stitched mine so that the two edges, edges don't move. Stay together, yeah. Oh, so you, you, yeah, you, you can, can do. Want to, you could go around yes. the edge. You could. Top stitch. I just think sometimes it finishes. Although this doesn't need it because it's so like pattern the fabric. You could use a different colour to make a, a yeah, feature of that, if, especially yeah. if you had plain fabric. Definitely. You can top stitch. I just think, yeah, it keeps you two seats. Oh, I should have had my extra finger out there, shouldn't I, before I go oh. on it. I'll just go a couple of back stitches on the end there. And we're done. <laughs> da, da, da. Our finished product. 
finished apron. Oh, I finished apron! <laughs> What's so, this? so nice, isn't it? Oh, it so give it one nice. last press. Yes. If, they, if you want to top stitch like Chloe suggested, um, watch out because your seams might be a little bulky. Yes. So, uh, but you definitely increase your stitch length as well because yeah. that makes it look nicer as well when you've got a bigger yeah. stitch length, doesn't it? A bit definitely. more professional. So you could do that in a different colour if you wanted. But it will be a, a bit bulky because obviously you've got all your, your seams. So, I mean, you could do it a bit further in. You don't have to do yeah, it right the on edge. the edge. Yeah, if you quite in. Yeah. So, there you go. So, just double check that you've caught, you know, both, both sides. sides. If you haven't, just, just go way. over it. Yes. It's, it's yeah. not it. vital. But we have caught, oh, I'll snip that little right. thread off there. So, have we all and we managed done. it and we all made our aprons. There we are. I can't wait to see them. Who will be the first yeah, to get the picture of it? It's a challenge. Me. It's you. What are we in? <laughs> Who could get in there for Amanda? <laughs> get, get it on before we get downstairs. Yeah. <laughs> we want to see them. What yeah, to, can't wait. Show sure, our live video. Thank you so much for joining us. Yes. Hope we've entertained you for an hour on a, a bit of a, well, dreary... Dull Thursday. Yeah, a bit of a dull, <laughs> dreary Thursday morning. Oh, Annabelle says nearly there. Oh, fantastic. Oh, can't wait to see it. Oh, well, Annabelle might be first then. Yeah. Well, Excellent. Can't wait to see what fabric you've done. Yes. Exciting. So... Thank you for watching. Yeah, thank you for watching. Um, and you'll be back in another hour, won't you? Yes, I'll be back with Heather on Facebook for our usual Material Girls Thursday Live with some deals. So yes. don't forget to come and have a watch of that. Yeah, I might even let you wear me here. Oh, thank you. Oh, wow. <laughs> I feel privileged. I thought you should. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're yes. done. We're going to give away. Yes, we are. Thank you very thank much. You. Bye. Bye. Just uh, get up and end the video if I can see the button.